Hi, it's Robbie, and oh my gosh, this is one of the cutest fountains. The hummingbirds love it, and the goldfinches come to it. I even have house finches, and so many birds come, and occasionally the scrub jay comes to get that drink. But let me tell you, today I want to talk about hummingbirds and why they love this fountain. And it's simple. You only need a bucket, a bowl, and a plate. That's all. And then you just need your solar fountain kit. But because of the shape of the bowl, see the bowl? It has the bottom rim that holds a bowl on the table. Well, that's what the hummingbirds love to hang on to. Remember, they're tiny. So you just take a bowl like that. This is a kid's bowl. I got it at Walmart. They come in a set of five and they were like three dollars. So you're going to take the bowl and you're going to make a hole in it. Now you want to make a hole big enough for your straw if you're going to use a large straw or a tube. And the tubing you can get at hardware stores, you can go to aquarium stores and buy the tubing. And I also put the link underneath here so you can look at where I get my tubing online. So you make the hole large enough. And by the way, these bowls, these are kids' bowls. So they're perfectly safe plastic and they're number fives. So you make the hole big enough for your tubing to go through. It's that simple. Now, once you have the hole big enough, then start working on the plate. Now put it in the center and decide where that hole is gonna go through because the tubing's gotta go through the plate and it's gotta go through the top of the bowl. So you make your hole on the bottom of the plate and I like making things backwards from the other side because I have found that the side you go through will have a little bit of the plastic and the side on the other side will be nice and clean. So once you've got that all ready to go, the next thing to do is your holes. Now for the plate, more holes will always be better than less holes because you want to make sure when that water is pumped up with the pump that it's going to go down on the plate and back into the bucket which keeps the bucket incredibly clean. A lot of times I don't even change the water for one to two weeks. I peek inside, it looks good, I just keep on going. But easy, easy to tip over, take the water out and put the water back in, fresh water. So make as many holes as possible. Like I said, it's always gonna be better to have more holes than less. You have not enough holes, the water will end up running over the plate out and not into the bucket and keep the holes away from the rim where the rim is going to sit on the bucket because you want to make sure that when the water hits the plate it goes back into the bucket and you'll see that leaves and different things will just sit on top you could just dust that off the water stays clean for a long time now you don't have to use a bucket if you go back and look at my other videos sometimes i get trash cans from the 99 cent stores, you can use any vessel you want, even a large bowl. You can put the plate on top, whatever you've got will work. So now just make all your holes. I have found these plates both at Walmart and Dollar Tree, and they generally come in a pack of four for a dollar. That's a quarter of plate. Keep in mind, you cannot use malamine because you won't be able to make any holes in it. So it has to be plastic. And you know how I love my soldering iron. You could drill it, but let me tell you something. The soldering iron is the best thing. You can pick them up at a lot of these dollar stores. They're now up. They used to be a dollar. Now they're two or three dollars. You can get them at Harbor Freight. You can get them online anywhere. I even have a link below where you can get it. Now once you're done, that's all you have to do is put your tube through the bowl and the plate. And all you have to do is attach the pump. Now I will say here that if you feel like putting on the little attachment that kind of spreads the water a little bit, you will have to make the hole a little bit bigger. So that is totally up to you. I have done it both ways and both ways works fine because the birds are sitting on the edge of the bowl, not the black attachment. But if you want, just make the hole bigger. This way the attachment will go through and then once it goes through, you can attach your tubing to it and it gives a little more of a gentle spread but it's not important, it's up to you. Then you just attach it to your pump and then all you have to do is drop that in your bucket. You're gonna put your plate on top and your bowl and then if it's too long and you're not adding the attachment, just cut it. You don't wanna cut it too low, so keep it about, oh, about an inch up because the hummingbirds are going to sit on the bowl and they're just gonna have it drape down the water on their bodies You'll see how they sit there and splash and how they absolutely 
love the flow of the water because the water on the bowl is going down. When the water goes down, they have no puddles. They don't have any water that they have to stand on. They've got water that's like a waterfall running down their bodies. This is the way they enjoy bathing. They like bathing on leaves, but they love these fountains we make because they can stand there in the water. They, they got short little legs. They need to be able to stand up and take a bath. And that's why these fountains work so well. They are so fun to watch. They constantly are coming to these fountains. Very comfortable for them to land on. Very comfortable for them to roll around and splash because water is going down. It's cascading down the bowl. It's going back into the bucket and pumping up. Generally, water that's pumping stays cool over water that is just standing. But if you want on those really hot days, go ahead and drop some ice cubes in as the day gets hot into the bucket and you'll be giving those birds nice cool water and they will greatly appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed this. They'll give you ideas on how to make your own fountain. With that, this is just a blast. I so love watching them come in to take a bath. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. So here it is set up in a bucket. This is a two gallon bucket. It's got the plate on top with the bowl on the top. It was scratched so, so the birds can land on it. I did that with soldering iron. And then I did put a hole here and here and push a twig through it to give another landing spot. That's it.